I am advocate Madhav Farke. You said in your speech that uh, God is um, alive, imageless, and formless, as stated in Hinduism. Then why Muslims during Hajj pilgrimage, they worship uh, holy shrine as a uh, Hindu they worship? That's a very good question the brother has posed. That if Almighty God has got no image in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, no form, then why would the Muslims they worship the holy shrine referring to the Kaaba in Hajj pilgrimage? But there's a misconception, no Muslim ever worship the Kaaba. It's a misconception among the non-Muslims that we Muslims, we worship the Kaaba. No Muslim worship the Kaaba, we only worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who we cannot see in this world. What we do is that Kaaba is the Qibla. Qibla in Arabic means the direction. Kaaba is the Qibla because we Muslims, we believe in unity, always unity. For example, if we want to pray to Almighty God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we have to offer salah, some may say, let's face the north, some may say, let's face south, some may say east, some may say west. Where do we face? We believe in unity. So for unity, all the Muslims throughout the world, they are asked to face in the direction of the Qibla, that is the Kaaba. It's a direction. We don't worship it. And the first people who do the world map were the Muslims. And when the Muslims do the world map, they do with the South Pole on top and North Pole down. And Kaaba was in the center. The Westerners came and they turned the map upside down. North Pole on top, South Pole down. Alhamdulillah, yet the Kaaba is in the center. Mecca is in the center. And since Mecca is in the center, any Muslim in any part of the world, if he's staying in north of Kaaba, he faces towards the south. If he's staying in the south of Kaaba, he faces towards the north. All the Muslims throughout the world, they face in one direction. Kaaba is the Qibla, it's the direction. No Muslim ever worships it. And when we go for Hajj, to the pilgrimage, we circumambulate around the Kaaba. We circumambulate around the Kaaba because everyone knows that all circles have only one center. So we circumambulate around the Kaaba to testify that there is only one God. Not because we worship it. And the statement of the second Khalifa of Islam, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he said, it's mentioned in uh, Sahih Muslim, in the book of Hajj, volume number two, he said, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, that I am kissing the black stone, that is the Kaaba, Sangha's word, only because my prophet kissed it. Otherwise, this black stone can neither harm me, neither can it benefit me. The second Khalifa of Islam, Caliph of Islam, Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, he made it clear for eternity that no Muslim ever worship the black stone. It can neither benefit us, neither can it harm us. And the best example is that during the time of the Prophet, the Sahaba, the companion of the Prophet, they even stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. Azan is a call for prayers. People stood on the Kaaba and gave the Azan. I am asking you, which idol worshipper will ever stand on the idol he worships? So these are sufficient proof that no Muslim ever worshiped the Kaaba. Kaaba is the Qibla and we worship only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who we cannot see with eyes. Hope that answers the question.